Hello, Darren Chang, and I'm um, going to review yet another messenger bag, although again, I would consider this to be a soft-sided briefcase rather than a messenger bag. Um, as I've said before, a classic messenger bag is going to have the flap that goes over, sort of a, it's a more casual look, perhaps, than these soft-sided briefcases. Um, this is called the STM Quantum. And um, they only actually come in one size, at least so far. STM only makes it in a size small. And it says it's for 13-inch screens, fits most 13-inch screens. So this is a little bit smaller than many of the messenger bags slash soft-sided briefcases that I've reviewed to this point. In fact, it's the smallest one that I've reviewed. Um, in the front, we have the organizer pocket. Directly on the outside, I always love having organizer pockets on the exterior because I'm constantly reaching in, grabbing pens or my wallet or whatever it is that I need to get out of that organizer pocket. The one thing I will say is that it's a bit disappointing that the, um, the zippers only come to the very end and don't go down a little bit because, frankly, it's kind of hard, especially when this is filled, to get access to this area of the bag. You really have to dig deep inside to get in there. Um, it would be nicer if it opened up a little bit more like a shelf um, to get access to the stuff. Um, but it's not bad. And in fact, the, in terms of organizer pockets, a really nice organizer pocket. We have three spaces for pens. We have a large space here where you could easily put a wallet and then a matching one on the other side. Also would be able to fit my wallet without too much trouble. Um, you could even put in an iPhone, up to an iPhone 6 for sure. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if you could fit an iPhone 6 Plus into it. It's a pretty good sized pocket. And then let me spin this around and see if you can get a look at this. You'll see that on the inside wall, there's a large zippered pocket, which is mesh, so you can see through it. And you could put dongles in there and other sort of cords, maybe a uh, portable hard drive into this space as well. So really nice to have this long pocket here right in the front, front here. The one thing, uh, like I want to say again, it's, it's similar to the issue I had before about it not being unzipped quite enough. It would also be nice if this pocket were a little bit more gusseted so it could accommodate stuff moving out away from the pack. Um, so if I wanted to put in a pair of headphones, for example, it would be nice if I could put them in here. At this point, because it's such a flat panel, there's no way you can put anything in here but the most flat materials. And again, you'll see in a moment what I mean by that when the bag gets full. If we scooch up here, you're going to see that there seems to be a pocket right here. It's a very shallow pocket. Um, it goes down to right about here. And what that pocket is for, I mean, you could sort of put mail there for a moment if you wanted to, but it's not too secure. What that really is for is to have a place to put the handle and hide the handles away. So it gives it sort of a, a cleaner look if you're using this as a shoulder bag. Um, I think that's kind of a nice touch there that STM built into the bag. Just behind this slot, you have a zippered pouch that is fleece lined, and it's a perfect place for you to put your sunglasses if you want to. It's just the right depth. In the past, STM has actually had the uh, similar pocket to this in um, other bags that they've had, but they've gone just, they're, they're too deep. And frankly, um, sometimes pockets can be too deep. All right, behind that, we have the main compartment of the bag. Again, this only unzips to right here, okay? So you can't pry it open like a book, which again would be kind of a nice thing, um, but that's clearly not what, how they decided to design this. And inside this main compartment, it's pretty spacious. It's not super wide. Um, you'll see that the, uh, the part that takes up a significant chunk of the bag is the laptop area, which I'll talk to you in just a moment. Um, inside this, you're gonna find an open top pocket where you can put file folders. And behind that, there's gonna be two stash pockets where you could put uh, potentially, um, I would imagine you could maybe put a charger, some cables, etc., in here. And then behind this, a fleece line padded pocket for a 10 inch tablet, in this case, an iPad for me. And if you swing this around, it's maybe a little bit hard to see. But you might look here along the side wall. There's a small little pouch here. So, and it's got a, an elasticized top to it to fit things in. And then on the front wall here, we have two zippered pockets. And again, not gusseted, but they could easily fit any number of dongles, cords, etc. So a lot of options in this main compartment here. All right, so let's take a look 
at, uh, actually for a moment, since we're here, why don't I take out these handles? The great thing about these handles is that there are two of them. Um, and so it's really nice central grip here to be able to grab it and walk. Um, as I've said in the past, there are some bags that only have a handle on one side. And when you pick that up, do you see how it sort of kicks in in the bottom that would hit your knee? Some of them, that they think that's totally a fine thing to do. I'm not quite sure how you could ever design a handle that would do that to the bag, but alas, that is what happens. Um, but the beauty of this is that because you have two handles, you can hold it like this and it stays nice and, and uh, perpendicular to the floor or to the ground. Um, however, if you want to hang this bag on a wall just to get it out of the way, you can just use the back handle, hook it onto whatever hook you have there, and keep the bag um, hanging up nice and tight. All right. Let's scoot then, uh, well, no, actually, let me stop here and take a look at the shoulder strap. This is a really nice shoulder strap. Um, the, the SDM folks really do this well. They have a cam buckle here to adjust the, the length of the shoulder strap. The padded shoulder strap area or the, the shoulder pad um, has the uh, friction pad here. So it's kind of a vinyl rubber that will stay on your shoulder. And it's nice and wide, and I think that makes it so much more comfortable. It is removable if you want to, and it also is on these 360 degree swivels, so it'll never get too crazy twisted without being able to untwist it relatively easily like that. Um, so nice shoulder, shoulder strap there for the STM. Let's take a look at the, uh, the laptop compartment here. Again, this is for 13 inch laptops. It's again, nice and padded. It's got fleece lining to it. And what's most interesting, um, and I was happy to see this and sort of guess that this would be the case. I have here a 15 inch MacBook Pro and it has no problem fitting in this 13 inch slot. So it's kind of funny that they limit it to a 13 incher when it can clearly fit a 15 incher without any problems at all. Now of course this is the latest edition MacBook Pro which is pretty thin but I think it wouldn't make too much of a difference even if it was an inch thick you'd still be able to fit the, uh, a MacBook Pro size 15 inch uh, laptop in there. We have a big open pocket here and you can put in uh, file folders, magazines, anything that you want to throw in there on the fly. And sitting here on the back wall, you'll also see there's a, a separate pocket that's dedicated to uh, a cell phone. You can put your iPhone in here and it's big enough to fit an iPhone 6, no problem there. Of course, there's nothing securing it in there, so if your bag were to tip upside down, your phone would fall out. So I'm not sure if this is the ideal place to put your phone, but at least there's an option to put something there. It's nice to have that extra little pocket there. The other thing that you'll see, we uh, this allows you to be able to take the bag and put it on your rolling luggage by sliding this over the handle. So it's a nice simple piece of webbing here, but it's going to keep it nice and secure on your rolling suitcase. You can see that we have two pockets that have elasticized tops to them. Um, and it looks mesh, but it isn't mesh. It's just a different uh, fabric here. It's, it's much stretchier. It's more of a um, polyester-like fabric on the back and the nylon on the front. These are pretty narrow pockets. And while I think I could take my stainless steel coffee mug and slide it in here. It's not like it would be going in there very easily. It takes some effort to jam it in there. And as much as I'd like to think it could fit this 750 milliliter bottle, it would be such a struggle for me to put it in here that it's frankly not worth it. I think I could if I really worked it, but frankly, you know, there are better ways of, of dealing with that, probably just getting a smaller bottle. So it really doesn't accommodate a large bottle, but it will no, have no problem fitting in this size coffee canister-like thing. All right, so let me go ahead and fill this up with all my stuff. Again, I'm going to fast forward through this so that it uh, isn't something you have to sit and watch me put together for 10 minutes. There you have it. The uh, seems to fit everything pretty nicely. It's a little tight. You know, it's a, that's the advantage of having a, uh, a smaller bag or disadvantage of having a smaller bag is that everything's going to uh, have to be compressed into a smaller space, obviously. Um, but it seems to work pretty well. 
And I certainly like how compact it is relative to the other bags that I've looked at. And I also do like the way that it's nice and square, it makes a nice rectangular block, and it's certainly very stable. All right, there you go. Again, this is the, um, what's this guy called? The STM Quantum, small, and uh, it's a good looking little bag.